Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you the 80s huge snare technique in Reaper. Now the concept of the 80s huge snare technique is based on a very popular band from the 80s. I'm not going to mention their name, but you'll see it on the screen right here. So look into mimic the huge snares from that time the glam or hair bands or metal bands of the era. So I have a project right here, and I've already created a drum part, but as you'll hear, the snare sounds nothing like the 80s. It's not huge at all. Let's hear it. Still sounds good, but that snare doesn't sound huge like the 80s snares did. So we're going to start off by sampling this snare. And we could do that by going up here to the file menu and choosing save live output to disk, which is going to record the output of Reaper no matter what we play or trigger. So I'm going to choose this. I'll give it a name for the file. And then we'll start recording right away. So anything we play in Reaper is going to be recorded to that file. Then we'll open up the MIDI drums and just hit the drum I want to sample. I'll hit the snare. That should be good. And now we'll go back to file and choose it again. And it saved the snare sample as a file. Although if you have the sample separated, you can just use that file. So I'll go to my hard drive and here's the file that was created, the snare. We'll drag this into Reaper and drop it. Here's that file. Let's zoom in and trim it by splitting it, typing S, deleting this part, and split it somewhere over here, and delete this part. Then we'll cut this, go to bar one, beat two, and paste it there. And we'll duplicate it to beat four throughout the whole part. So now we just have our snare on top of the old one. So it's just going to be louder. So I need to treat this snare differently. Let's zoom in and select it. Then we'll right click it and go to take and choose take pitch envelope, which we could use to pitch down the sample over time. But before we do this, let's go to options and choose preferences. Then we'll scroll down to editing behavior, envelope display, and change the default pitch envelope range from 3 to 12. So it can move a whole octave. Then we'll go back here, hold on the shift key, and create a point. Let's trim this down so it stops at the next beat and put this all the way down. So it's going to pitch drop a full octave over this time period and sound like this. Let's hear what that sounds like in the mix. It's starting to get there. Let's delete all these, zoom in again. Now we're going to time stretch the whole thing. So it'll adjust the playback rate of the sample. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and drag it to be twice as long. So now the rate is 0.5. So that's going to sound like this. Let's readjust the envelope so it pitches down this far before the next beat. And let's hear that in the mix. But we could also change by double clicking, preserving the pitch when changing the rate. If we turn this off, it's going to bring the pitch down a full octave when we time stretched the sample. So now it sounds like this. Make it a bit shorter and duplicate it. Let's hear that in the mix. But it's a bit too loud. 
Let's bring the sample down a bit. That's sounding pretty good. I also like to do is do the same thing with a tom or a floor tom. Let's go back to file and choose save live output again. This time I'm going to create a floor tom, reopen the MIDI, and let's click a floor tom. And let's save it. Hit this again. That's going to create a file right here. Drag this one in again. And we'll do the same thing with the floor tom. Let's zoom in really close to the last hit. Split it. Delete this. Delete this and cut it. And paste it right here. Duplicate it through the whole part. But because the sample is mostly on the right speaker, I'm going to make it mono by right clicking, go to item settings and choose mono right. So it sounds like that. And again, we'll right click, go to take and choose take pitch envelope. We'll shorten the sample, hold shift, create a point and bring it down. Now it sounds like this. And then we'll time stretch it to be twice as long. Let's move this back. Trim this back. And it sounds like this. Let's hear it with the snare. Bring it down a bit. Now we could also turn off preserve pitch. But for the floor tom, it sounds a bit different. It's a bit too deep. So I prefer to leave this on for the floor tom, but off for the snare. Now let's hear it with the track. Before. Bring in the snare. And the floor top. Again before, It sounds pretty big. So that's pretty much it. That's the 80s huge snare technique in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.